So there's an affirmation that I love that I'm going to base this entire recording on. And here it is. I am grateful for what I have and eager for more. I love that affirmation for a number of reasons. One, it expresses gratitude, which is really the foundation of all of this mental and mindset work that we do. Because if you can't be grateful for what you have now and where you are in your life right now, it's going to be much more difficult to allow more in. So counting your blessings, appreciating what you have now is crucial to manifesting even more. So that affirmation acknowledges that you're open and receptive to more abundance, more love, more good health, more relationships, more success, more impact, and on and on. So being grateful for what you have doesn't mean you're done. This is as much as you're going to get. Your life can be a never-ending overflow of good. And when I say get things, I'm not talking just about material things. It includes that but it also includes experiencing and enjoying more happiness, fulfillment, joy, laughter, etc. And one more clarifying thing about this affirmation is I do use the word eager, and it can be misused to mean like yearning or really wanting something badly. But the way I use it is not from a sense of desperation. I want more in my life. It's more about being open and receptive. So it's not really about the specific word that you use. It's what feeling do you have about that word in your mind and in your belief system. So keeping all of that in mind, again, the affirmation is, I am grateful for what I have and eager for more. One more thing to point out, and then we'll get into the exercise. There's another concept that I've heard over the years that's very appealing to me, and that is being grateful in advance. So there may be something that you're striving for, like to be self-employed, to be happily married, be engaged in some sort of creative activity that's important to you, and maybe you're not there yet. But instead of feeling a sense of lack or unworthiness because you haven't attained that thing yet, you're grateful in advance because you know it's coming. You're calm, you're confident. And every day you put one foot in front of the other and do your best to move a little closer to whatever that state or that thing is. So this exercise we're about to do is related to that. So here's what I want you to do. And basically I want you to attach the emotion of gratitude and deep, authentic appreciation that you have for things that already exist in your life, and I want you to attach them to things you are still moving toward. So right now, just pick one or two things that you are grateful for. It could be a person, it could be a pet, it could be a place. It could also be a possession of yours. It could also be a state of health or a mindset that you have that you're just so appreciative and thankful for. Again, just pick maybe one or two things and just sit with a deep sense of appreciation and gratitude for that thing that is already in your life. Just sit for about 15 seconds or so. Just feel those feelings of gratitude. Great. Now think of something that you are still moving toward. Something you desire that hasn't fully manifested yet in your life, but that you're looking forward to. Now take that sense of gratitude and appreciation that you were just feeling about the thing you already possess, and now attach it to the thing you're moving towards. Wrap that goal in a blanket of thankfulness. Do that right now.
Well done. So you see what we're doing here. We're taking a genuine, authentic feeling of gratitude that you already experience for something that's currently in your life and we're attaching it to the thing that you're moving toward. So let's do it again. Think of something else that you currently possess that you are extremely grateful for. Do that now. Now think of something that you are moving toward. Take that feeling of gratitude and attach it to this other thing. Let's keep repeating the process. Think of a person or a place or something else that you are eternally grateful for. Take a moment, visualize it, feel it. Do that now. And now immediately turn your attention to something that has not yet manifested, but you can feel grateful for it now. Attach that same emotion to it. Go. Repeat the process one more time. Think of something that you are deeply grateful for. Now attach that same emotion to something that you are moving toward. And just for good measure, let's repeat that original affirmation I mentioned at the top of the recording. Let's just say that a few times. I'll leave space for you to repeat it after me. Here we go. I am grateful for what I have and eager for more. I am grateful for what I have and eager for more. I am grateful for what I have and eager for more. I am grateful for what I have and eager for more. I am grateful for what I have and eager for more. Take a deep breath as we bring this session to a close. I hope you enjoyed this fresh approach to combining gratitude with your goals and aspirations. If you truly embrace it, I think this can be a powerful exercise. So return to this recording anytime you feel it would serve you. Enjoy the rest of your day. 
This is Bob Baker from BobBakerInspiration.com. So long for now.